Okay. Now it's up to you to decide if you want to, like, put indentions here, or how, like, um, pronounced you want them. Um, I'm going to do it slightly, just so you guys can see what it would look like. So let's say we'd have... This middle part always sticks out and it comes lower, so we'll just make an indention on either side. Like so. This is pretty much all big enough that I can just use my thumbs, so that's what I'm going to do. So see now it has that one part that comes out in the middle. It kind of curves. And we'll bring it up just the slightest bit at the edges. And this doesn't have to be perfect right now because it'll kind of, once you do the bottom portion, you can kind of fix this up a little bit too. Okay, so there you have the basic shape of the top lip. Right? And once again, this is like super rough and super quick, so it's not going to look amazing, but you'll get the idea. Okay, so now you're going to take the another piece, um, a little smaller than the first, and once again, round it out a little bit. Like so. And then you're going to attach it. And remember, before you attach it, like, look at this, it's coming out farther than the top, so I'm going to want to take away some clay. Or at least make the top part skinnier, because this can just be joined to the bottom. It doesn't really matter. There we go. So it doesn't come out as far, so that's good. So now we're just going to add that on. And blend it into the rest. I always like doing the bottom lip. I don't know why. Probably because when you do the top, it still doesn't look like lips yet. And you do the bottom, it actually starts to look like mouth. Okay, so once you have it blended in good enough, you're going to take this and round it out, just like you did the top. As much as you can without wrecking the top, anyways. Okay. So once it's rounded, then you can push it in and really, I would say just push in the middle part because the the edges of the lips aren't really as defined as um, the middle is, but usually, like on this one, you can see that the middle, there's like an indention right here, so you want to push it in with your thumb and the rest, the sides just get kind of smoothed out, okay? so. So push this in with your thumb and then smooth the rest of this down. Make sure this stays up. And then you're just going to want to smooth this out. And the bottom lip isn't as wide as the top. So make sure you get that. Like so. And then you can add a little bit of um, definition to the sides just by pushing your thumb in the slightest bit. Okay, like so. So you have a basic mouth, and see how the bottom doesn't come out as far as the top? This one isn't as obvious, but it is a little bit, um, I don't know if you can see that. It's a little bit back more. Hmm, it's not as much as I thought it would be. Okay, well, let's push this in then.
And the shape of the mouth and everything, you can change. There's so many different ways you can make lips. I mean, there's full lips, thin lips. Guys have completely different lips. These are closer to a female lip. Okay, now I made the bottom lip really tiny, but that's okay. But yeah, so you'll see that it comes out, the top lip comes out farther, so that's important. Now for the corners, you want to take your stylus or anything that will puncture a hole. And first, just put two holes in the corner of the mouth. Like that. Okay. And then you're going to take a different tool, or the same one, and drag all the surrounding clay into that hole. Okay. On both sides. And then smooth it out with your fingers. Or a tool, like this one. And then just fix it up. And once you have that clay in, then you want to put the holes again, in again. Just lightly. Okay. And then these obviously look like straight up holes. So, you take a tool and you connect the holes to the opening of the mill. Like so. And there you have a basic, really ugly looking set of lips. <laughs> but at least, like, like let's see. That took about 15 minutes to do, so obviously I didn't spend too much time on these. And they're giant, so I'm not used to sculpting such huge lips. But you can see that it looks like a pair of lips, right? So... I'm hoping that you can take these this technique that I use because this is how I sculpt on um, the lips on the heads that I make and yeah try it out for yourself or adapt it to something that you find works better but just remember the key things like how definitely how the bottom lip comes out doesn't come out as far as the top um, there's the indention underneath the lips the bottom lips aren't defined as much in the corners as the top is and that this middle part usually comes out further than the rest. Oh, and the holes in the corner. Lots of little things. I find that in sculpting it's the little details that make it look better. So focus on the little things, not so much the overall shape. That comes later. So yeah, there you have it. I hope you learned something. And if there are any more tutorials that you guys would like to see, request them on my blog and I'd be happy to make them for you. Okay? Have a good day!